Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today I have prepared an overview of some of the best productivity apps available for Mac. These are top 5 productivity apps for M1 Mac. Let's start with our favorite app called Notion. Used by small as well as large teams, with the coding team being no exception, Notion is simply brilliant, highly customizable project management app. Actually, it is far more than that and not just an another note-taking app. Teams or individuals are able to create wikis, manage complex projects, organize everything visually using boards or timelines. Notion also supports link embedment, so you can see your links as a rich content. Big advantage of Notion over other countless note-taking apps out there is its deep modification feature. You can truly modify it in the way you and your team needs for any given project. Notion can be linked to your Trello, Google Drive, Asana or Evernote account and you can easily import images and text from these apps. If you are not sure where to start, Notion comes with handy templates for all kinds of project tracking or other features. Everything can be modified to your likeness. It is simply one of the most centralized and consolidated organization app I've ever used. Received update back in December 2020 with new Apple Silicon support which means it is fast and snappy as you would expect from M1 optimized app. Besides macOS, Notion is also available for iOS, iPadOS, Android and Windows. You can also access Notion via the web app. As for pricing, personal basic license is free. Personal Pro costs $4, Team $8, and there's also an enterprise option. Of course, prices are slightly different if you choose pay monthly versus annually. Despite ability to modify everything in Notion to your likeness, there are of course few drawbacks, including the fact that there is no ability to connect Google or Apple Calendar. Notion freemium pricing model works great for individuals with unlimited pages and blogs. However, as soon as you want to start collaboration with someone, price starts at $8 per month. In conclusion, I would recommend Notion for someone who is looking for a deeply customizable but clean project management app or just very well-designed note-taking app. Fantastical by Flexbits isn't a new app but it was among the first apps to release M1 optimized version. But what actually is Fantastical? Let me put it this way. Fantastical is the calendar app on steroids which you will happily pay for. Yes, it is a paid calendar app, you heard me right. But trust me, it is worth every penny. Let me explain. It is a cross-platform beautifully designed app for Mac, iPad and iPhone with an Apple Watch extension, which means you can seamlessly manage your meetings, track the day and join Teams calls across all devices. While setting up the event, app understands natural language input, therefore you can simply type meeting next Monday at 2 repeat monthly and app will automatically translate this into the calendar event. It also has built-in weather forecast by AccuWeather. Fantastical also won best of 2020 award by Apple. Because Fantastical supports multiple iterations of calendar, you can keep your private events away from, for example, Office 365 work calendar while still staying organized. As a part of work from home update, Flexbits added option to join Zoom, Teams and other calls directly from the app. You can also schedule meeting and propose new times. It is important to mention that you can also use Fantastical as a freemium. This tier, however, is very limited. For example, you will only have one calendar. Calendar views are also very limited and your events won't sync across devices so you won't be able to see the updates on your Apple Watch. Flexbits offers 14 day free trial and after that it's 367 euros per month. If billed yearly, 549 euros a month for pay monthly, either way it is not a cheap app. There's also a family plan for up to 5 family members so you can save some money 
with this tier if needed. I know at first it might seem crazy to pay this much for a calendar app and some people are upset about this but trust me Fantastical has changed the way I organize my professional and the private life. Things is a task management app which focuses on productivity and not on over-the-top features. It is exactly what you would expect from the small team of developers based in Germany. Very precise and on-point task management app. There aren't any unnecessary features or gimmicks. With over 1 million downloads and multiple awards, we can safely say that this app, despite its steep pricing, which we will talk about later, is hugely popular among users. There is no web app version, you can only run things locally despite app's ability to sync between devices. As mentioned before, Things focuses on efficiency and does this really well including creating tasks, organizing folders, project, to-do lists and many more. No wonder it won Apple Design Award back in 2017. Pricing. Now, this is a tricky one because unlike most apps on Mac or iOS, if you buy things on iPhone, you will need to buy it also on iPad for slightly higher price and if you fully want to use it on Mac OS, you will need to pay again. On the other hand, there is no subscription model on place and the app works flawlessly on M1 Max. I also have to say that developer regularly updates app with the bug fixes and new improvements. Now let's talk about yet another note-taking app called Bear. This app is designed specifically for Apple ecosystem and it is simply beautiful. While the app isn't necessarily innovative or rich on features, it's all about simplicity. There are no folders or notebooks. Strong side of this app is its versatility. From lengthy essays to short to-do lists and notes, this app can do it all. App also supports Advanced Markup Editor, which supports over 150 programming languages. If you really need to focus, there is a dedicated focus mode, which hides everything you don't need at that point. Bear App supports quick exports to PDF, HTML, DOCX and many more file formats. There's also numerous themes to choose from, but those are tied to Pro version of the app. Speaking of, Bear Pro is needed in order to sync your notes across all your devices. Pro version costs $149 a month, which offers a one-week free trial or $14.99 annually, which is one month of free trial. With Bear Pro, you can also easily lock your notes with Face ID or Touch ID and keep them safe. Besides macOS, Bear App is also available for iOS, iPadOS and of course watchOS extension. You can also get the Safari extension for Bear App. Downsides of the Bear App are for example no web app, no cross-platform support and no OneNote or Evernote integration. Besides this, I can highly recommend this app especially because you can still use most of the features without need to subscribing to the Pro tier and this app was also among the first to adapt Apple Silicon. Alfred 4 essentially replaces Spotlight on your Mac, being much more powerful productivity tool with way more functions for power users. Spotlight does many things well and it is more than sufficient for most users, however if you are a big fan of keyboard shortcuts and you really want to boost your productivity, Alfred is a no-brainer. So of course, you can use Alfred to do usual things such as launch apps, find files, check weather, do math, spell words and other. But with Alfred, you can do much more than that. Alfred is not restricted to only searching on your Mac. In fact, Alfred can completely replace your browser search and you can search directly from the app. Alfred also features full clipboard history and it even allows you to search within the clipboard history using simple shortcuts. You can even delete, copy, move, send and open files using Alfred. Alfred 4 is a free to download and use. There are no ads or other annoying things. Some true power user features, however, are locked behind a paywall. PowerPack enables entire dimension of new features and possibilities. Alfred also supports automation, and if you aren't exactly tech savvy, there are plenty of slim plays to choose from. You can for example control your music, a reminder and many more thanks to automation. What makes Alfred really fast isn't just the fact that you can navigate entire app using a keyboard, but also the app learns 
how we use it and therefore it is faster than Spotlight. You can change the way Alfred looks thanks to team support and these teams can be further modified to your likeness. Trust us, once you will give Alfred a try, you won't be coming back to Spotlight ever again. So these were the top 5 productivity apps for Mac with M1 chip. If you want us to do more videos like this one, let us know down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.